Hello my Soka universe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I needed to let this one sit a little bit. <laughs> the uh, UEFA playoff draw. Slowly take out the shirts, arrange them according to the playoff paths behind me. A, B, C, and yeah. You have the very weird sight that this Austrian is sitting very mopingly around, or at least I was for the father most time. I think I found a silver lining. In an Italy shirt, not being happy when all of Austria already think they're qualified. Ha 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 ha. Actually, I figured out, I mean, it's it's kind of, we have the first snow days out there. Uh, and so I, I actually have a long sleeve shirt under and I found it quite fitting. Uh, the shirt to destroy war eternal uh, if you don't know it check it on wikipedia uh yeah we have what i was initially considering the worst case scenario but you know let's see i mean uh i don't want to not blame the robbers here i mean let's pull off the the pots i mean we had the six seeded teams and i have them here in order that they were actually seeded not uh um so russia had the best record blah 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 uh, it was clear that those six teams will play at one of the the bottom ones, which is which is all right. But then, uh, of course, it was there was no seeding whatsoever. It was an open draw of who could play each other. Uh, then in the final, going to the World Cup, and I think everyone was kind of either afraid or enticed by the possibility that Italy and Portugal will play each other. Well, let's roll it further. That's exactly what we got. Here is the draw. Uh, and I also included the probabilities now of making it to the World Cup. Path A, and we'll look at it uh, in a little bit. I think everyone in there will fancy their chances. Of course, Wales is the one team that uh, everyone should uh, really look into because Wales very, very much uh, now uh, having a clear path, all home games. Austria is very happy that they play Wales. They see a chance in there. I personally... You know, I, I'm, I'm of two minds. Do I want Austria the World Cup? Yes, it would be great, but that would also mean that Foda is gonna stay on, which, yeah, I mean, the qualifying campaigns were not so great. However, if he now pulls it out like he did at the Euros and the team takes over, I don't know. But, you know, as an Austrian, Austria is, uh, you can see it on the bars two to the left, is the lowest uh, rated team in this path. However, thanks to a pos possible home game uh, against an opponent that they know very well. I mean, they beat Ukraine at the Euros. We played twice against Scotland. So, yeah, I think that most fans would, of course, look at the Wales scotland matchup, but uh, don't discount the Ukraine there. But I think this is a path where everyone would actually really fancy their chances. Path B... I think it's a deceiving one. I think the strongest team in there, uh, ratings be damned. I was surprised that the Czechs are the high, most highly rated team in there. But I would say the strongest team and the one that really has a record at the World Cup is Sweden. Uh, they have a home game against the Czechs and then they have to go to Russia or Poland. I would actually fancy Sweden to get out of this path. I am very intrigued by Russia v Poland. I mean, that is a proper derby. There is no love lost between those two. Russia having a home uh, route might make it. Um, I would fancy Sweden. And then we have path C. What Portugal and Italy probably cannot really complain about their uh, first opponents. Portugal against Turkey. Yes, Turkey can be nasty, but I think Portugal would fancy themselves against Turkey and Italy got the easiest draw against North Macedonia. I mean, uh, no one can argue with that one. However, that they have done and played to, uh, against each other for a shot at the World Cup. So where we will either not see Portugal's wonderful uh, new generation or we will not see the reigning European champions that delighted us so much at the Euros. That is a true bummer. However, it makes for a great drama, of course. Now, uh, initially the way it was drawn that Italy, uh, well, that, 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 that was the fifth semi-final and then uh, Portugal, Turkey, Turkey was the last one. Uh, and then they flipped it around by drawing for home, home, home full advantage. Uh, to be honest, I would have actually made the draw procedure a teeny bit different uh, because, you know, we knew the big, the, uh, the big, um, 
a draw for this one, no pun intended, was that will, will Italy and Portugal play against each other and already after the first pot we knew that and that was kind of a little bit, uh, you know, the first draw the difference da, 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 and then pull out and make the uh, pairings uh, for, for the final. That's how I, I, I would have done or just go with the order that they come. Okay, so Italy has to play Portugal. It, I was really bummed already that Portugal have to play Italy and then they have to go away to Portugal. But you know, the more I think about it, I honestly, um, both teams would be a loss to not be at the World Cup. Uh, especially if I see the other teams, no disrespect, especially when I look at path A. I think uh, Portugal and it Italy, uh, clearly you would rather see them over any other of these teams because you know that they could do that, 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 that damage in the tournament. And there are so highly talented players in there. I would actually think that Sweden is probably the third best team in there. So yeah, uh, that is a definite bummer. Now, now, my Italy fan perspective, I was also, yeah, you have to go to go to Portugal, blah, 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 blah. Well, didn't just Serbia beat Portugal at home? Didn't Portugal lose a European uh, championship final at home? Did Italy just win a European title in England? I actually think the pressure is definitely a whole lot more on Portugal if there's a full state system than, 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 than on Italy. Yes, Italy has a lot of pressure because, again, you might not qualify for a World Cup. But... Oh, I, don't know. I think it's not that, 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 that bad. That you're not playing at home because Italy also. I mean, you just needed to beat Sweden at home for the last World Cup. You didn't manage ma that. You know, uh, I actually am. Uh, let's ship it to Portugal or Turkey. I mean, we should not uh, discard that option as well, of, of course. And then, of course, Italy needs to beat North Macedonia, and that will also not be that easy because they're gonna fight tooth and nail. If, if we look at the chances of qualifying for each of the four se se sections, uh, Wales are favored uh, in their section, uh, Russia over Sweden, home field advantage, and Portugal home field advantage over Italy, but it's pretty, pretty clear that everything is pointing to Portugal-Italy final. Wouldn't it be somewhat fun if one of those two will not make it to the final? So kind of throw a wrench into everything? Definitely. Uh, here quickly, winners and losers of, 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 of the draw, which I found very intriguing. So, so, so this is the, cha the, the absolute changes in chances of qualifying for the World Cup. Uh, and I find it very interesting that uh, we have five winners and seven losers. So uh, everyone in path A had their chances boosted, which tells tell us this is the easiest path. Poland are surprisingly awesome. I mean, you have to go to Russia and then you face, yeah, probably. I mean, at the prospect, you could have faced Italy and Portugal. So in that sense, yeah, you you got to be happy. Of course, the biggest losers, and I have not talked much, much, much about it because, you know, Italy, <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Um, Turkey and North Macedonia are the, are the biggest losers. Sweden have to go to Russia, also not that easy, and have to play against the Czechs, which are highly more rated. Ra and then, of course, yeah, Italy, Portugal, Sweden, uh, uh, the Czechs, and uh, Russia. Uh, one la last, last thing, uh, the Czechs and the Serbs are two teams that I just don't get. The Czechs n almost never qualify for, for the World Cup, but they are at every Euros. And for the Serbs, it's almost the other way around. Just a little thought about that. We had one more draw, and I, it would be a miss. I was actually hoping to do the African draw as well. No, they're not. Uh, which, by, by the way, is a seed. Uh, is seeded in such a way that, you know, the six, uh, the five teams that are higher in the FIFA ra uh, rankings uh, will cannot play each other, which probably is not too bad. But um, we had the international, uh, the intercontinental draw already, and that's also kind of interesting because we have the uh, the Asian uh, playoff loser uh, play against the, the fifth place from South America, Conmebol. So I would say at the moment in the Asian playoff, we have the standings here for for Asia. It looks like Australia uh, slash Japan against the UAE. I would actually say the UAE probably are the outsiders there. So UAE uh, playing against the fifth place team in South America at the moment. This is Peru, but could be anything. Um, would normally, I, you would of course favor the South American team, but that playoff may be played in a one-legged format in Qatar itself. 
that would swing it a little bit towards the UAE. And then we have CONCACAF, the fourth place team, which at the moment I think is Panama against the winner of OFC, which is New Zealand. That could be an even matchup, but definitely the first one. You know, uh, yesterday they had it with very uneven draws. I always would say that Common Ball should play CONCACAF and AFC should play OFC just um, geographically. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What can I say? What can I say? I'm not happy about it, despite Austria getting such a sweet draw. <laughs> but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Boy, I will eat a lot of humble pie if Austria should qualify for this World Cup. I probably will. I will still not like Foda. And yeah, uh, as I said, for Portugal, um, to, to, to when I just look at the potential, I think Portugal will be bigger miss than Italy, honestly. But I think Italy is a better team at the moment. And as I said, I, that, that's why I see pro, uh, pro, probably Italy is not... Uh, in a bad draw, I think they lucked out a little bit. And maybe, just the, the last sil silver, maybe if um, Portugal really will miss out on qualification, uh, Fernando Santos will be fired. And maybe then they can get a coach like a Fonseca or so on and play uh, swashbuckling football, which would also be fun to see the Portugal rise from the ashes again, because I love my Portugal offensive. In any case, let me know your thoughts on the draw. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.